Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got something in my head that I'm working on for summer, but I'm just practicing right now because if it works, then I'll start using some summer colors and all of that stuff. So for now, we're just going to, I want to make some, um, like a tide pool and I want to make it into a pendant or something. I know what I want to do, but I'm not quite sure how to implement it yet. So I just took out some colors that I liked and we're going to try these first. So I've got these all set at a number one, but now that I'm thinking of, nah, I'm just going to, darn it. Have you ever just thought, you know, maybe you should thin these out. So I'm going to put these. I'm going to take these at a number two, so they're a little bit thinner. And then I think I'll probably do these at a five. It's not dark, and I know I probably should use a dark color. But again, we'll see if it works, and if it works, then, then I will go ahead and use the colors that I want and try again. Okay, so we're going to take like the light color with the dark color. And what I want to do is separate them with the bronze. So I'm using Wasabi. Um, this is a bright green pearl. This is a peacock pearl. And this is turquoise. But I added a little bit of white into the turquoise. And the bronze I'm just going to put in at a number four. So where's the one I just did? Got the light blue, the dark blue, the light green, the dark green, and then I'm going to put the bronze in the middle of both of those. And then a light blue and a dark blue. Light green, dark green. And we'll take this bronze at a number four. So it's going to be a little longer. I'll have to cut that off. Okay, and we're going to put that right on top. I was going to use like a graphite pearl, but I think we're going to go with the base of bronze on this. I was working with Cernet today. Can you tell? <laughs> you can never get that stuff off of anything. Oh, and I hate to put it on a towel. So let me grab a paper towel real quick. All right. I want to make on the pendant, I want to make it kind of bumpy. And what I mean by that is just having a little bit of a flat area and then making little clay balls and setting them into it. So it kind of gives a little bit of uh, like, like a lumpy surface. And then I want to lay another piece over it. Not all the way, but just lay some over it where the bottom is coming out and the top. And um, put some seashells in there and stuff like that. So it's going to be a busy pendant maybe, but it sounded really fun. Okay, so there's that half. And we're going to cut it, and I know it's not really... Not perfectly even. So we'll get that to like right there, and then we'll just put it right at the half part. Should be somewhere around there. Okay, and then we're gonna put that on top of there. So that's our first row. Okay, I don't know if I want to go one more. 
I'm just going to cut a little bit off the edge to see how thin these are. I'm going to go one more, I think. Okay. I don't want to go too much to blend it too much, but I do want to get all the colors in one slice because I'm going to slice this really thin when I get to it. Okay. Okay. That should be perfect. Okay, so now we're going to do the Makumi Gani, but we're not going to close it back up when we're done. We're going to literally put holes in it. I'm thinking of filling up the holes with some resin. Okay. So, if this is going to be... Hmm. I don't know how big the holes I want. This might be a little too big. So, we're just going to push these down. Okay. And we're going all the way down without going all the way through. Okay. I was hoping not to make a line, but it happened anyways. Uh, let's see if I have a blade. I can just make some crisscrosses or something in here. I need to find me some some cool tools to use. Sorry about that. I thought I had them all right here, but I don't kind of organized and I can't find anything now that I'm organized. I think a dental stick might just do the trick. Oh, and you know what I saw in there? That would be kind of cool. Maybe to put texture on the top. Ah, I just lost it. Kind of like a brush with all kinds of prongs on it. Okay, well, if I can't find it on this shot, then I'm just going to ignore it. Right here, right in front of me. Just gonna kind of, I don't know. Just put different designs down here. have this thing. I don't think I've ever used it yet, but you could add that to add like texture. You know, you can come in here and make little funky holes. I don't know what it's going to do, but I'll probably use it for textures. Okay, so now I'm going to get some bronze here. Since this is going to sit on top, I'm going to take 
the bronze in a number zero, which is my thickest setting. Holes might be a little too big for such a small piece. So you basically got to base your holes on what you're working on. But I wanted some big ones to fill up, or at least one per either pendant or necklace. I'm not sure how I'm going to use it yet. All right. And I'm going to texture this now. Okay. Since we're still figuring it out, I'm just going to use one little strip. my bandit. Sorry, guys. Okay. So now I just want to take a really thin layer. Thicker than that. So use that top piece to kind of help you figure out how far you have to go. And you really need a sharp, sharp blade for this. And I still need to go a little more. Uh, I'm just going to set that right there. Hey, Makita, Makita. She's so loud. And she listens well, doesn't she? Ah, yeah, that's one thing about going really thin. Okay, so it is going to be a pair of earrings or a pendant. I guess I could do a pendant. I'm going to do some smaller holes here. bigger hole. Yes, see, see, I don't go, I'm not going deep enough. So since this is practice, right, we're going to cut it right there. I'm just going to go ahead and fix some of these back ends right here. I'm going to put that aside. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm trying to make the hole a hole again. a bigger one here. I don't 
think I want to use the little ones, but we're going to do it anyways. Okay. All right, so now we're just going to lay it flat. And I'll try and kind of show you what I mean by... Um... Oh my gosh, I just lost my train of thought. I'll try and show you what I mean by... The textured sheet. I just didn't want to waste any clay, but I'll take some of this for the base and I'll show you what I mean. And that will be our next project. Okay, so I want some of that texture there. go too much because that's going to be filled with resin okay so this is going to need a big piece so let me find a pair of earrings that I have oh that'll make a nice a nice shape for us here I still have three containers of of cutters and I don't want three Containers, the cutters. I just want a couple, if that. Could use those. I just. I need something wide, but I'm just not a fan of a lot of these. A lot of these shapes. I mean, they're cute, but I can't see them as earrings. So, I'm going to pull those out. which would probably look really cool if I could just find a smaller size okay let me see if I can find a cutter and I'll be right back okay well it's not exactly the one I was looking for but it was found so that's what I'm going to use so I'm going to try and grab As much as I can of this big one like that. And if I can grab both dots, that would be fantastic too. Kind of kind of looking at it like this side. Okay, so we're going to do that. And then if I could put this on this side... Mm -hmm. It's kind of like this. All right, let's try that. Okay, so what we're going to do with this is we're going to put it in the oven. Let's let it bake. I might make, I don't know, I might make um, a little bit more since I've still got a bunch left over. Okay, I just want to check the back. Make sure my sides are nice and smooth and clean. 
although I always sand anyways. Okay, and I want to make sure, obviously, that these are nice and dipped. Okay, so let's just take this end part, and I'll show you what I mean by texture. And this is going to be, like, really small, because I don't have a whole lot, obviously. And this would be a solid color. Alright, so I'm just laying... I'm just going to lay this down. I know it's not solid, but it's just going to give you an idea. So we're just going to work with a little square here. Okay, and then you take little pieces right here. Put them on top. And they can be different sizes. You can have some small ones here, some big ones here, you know, however you want to do it. I don't know. And I'm just going to take from this corner right here. Yeah, see, I just, I can't get that little... I don't want to go too thick, but when I go too thin, I always miss that little hole. Okay, and then you're just going to lay it on top, right? So you're going to leave a lot of that bottom. And of course, this isn't the color that I'm going to use either. Okay, so there'll be a lot of blues in it. Okay, so this way you got a little shape. Just to look. Okay, and then I can add like little, um, like a starfish. So with the hole right here, you know, you can put a little hole right in here. You can fill that with resin and have like a starfish inside of it. You know, and then just, yeah, just little things all around it. I've seen it somewhere. I don't remember where I've seen it. Um, but it was so cute. And I always wanted to make a pendant like a tide pool. But I have not yet. So let's go ahead and put this in the oven. We'll work on these. And then we'll kind of fine tune these. And then once I fine tune it, we'll actually do a video on that. So let me get those in the oven. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back to finish our little textured or whatever you want to call them because they're not going to be textured once I put resin on them. But these are the two designs that I made out of the slab. Okay. They turned out kind of cool. So now what do I want to do with them? Okay. So I'm going to put resin in these little holes. Sorry about that. We had an amber alert come through. So I'm going to go look and see what that was and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back. So basically a amber alert was called out of Long Beach. And so as you know for amber alerts they come through on all your phones. So back to the earrings here. I've got a little bit of gold flake. So I'm going to try and figure out just want to pull off little pieces like that okay so that's what it'll look like when it's inside and I know you can't really see it right now so I'm gonna have to play but I also have this. I found blue. I found green. I found all kinds of holographic stuff. 
but for some reason this orange gold just really stood out and since orange doesn't look bad with blue I thought I would try it but <coughs> so I'm gonna try and find a scoop here I'll show you what I mean This isn't a really great scoop, but okay. So see how that looks. And then I found a rhinestone and I thought, hmm, I can put a rhinestone in this hole right here up on top. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do it because if I show you that I'm going to destroy something, all right, so let's get, we're going to do Japanese resin for the inside, I think, because it only takes a couple of minutes for that to set. So let me grab one of these so that we got a nice even, even surface here, right? Okay, and let's see, I've got two different resins. I don't use this very often, even though they work really well. They just stink. So, I don't use them as much as other people do, I guess, because I just can't stand the smell. Alright, so I'm just putting a little bit in here. For now. And I know I had a toothpick here. I'm just going to spread it out. And I'm going to put a little bit in there as well. That one's going to be tough because that whole kind of drops off to the side so if you put resin on there it's going to slide right through that so I may have to get some tape and put that on that one okay so I think I'm gonna put the the not Swarovski the rhinestone in those now but I'm gonna set them just for a little bit so let me stretch this out a little bit more. Okay, that way it goes all the way. It might make it easier to fill. This has got a, a whole lot on it. So I'm going to take this and just take some out of this one. Keep a cup close by. That way you can put this in a cup instead of what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to put this under the UV lamp for just a couple of minutes. Okay, and then I'm going to get my little rhinestone out. That's why I'm only putting it in for like... I don't know, maybe 40 seconds, and hopefully it'll hold the rhinestone a little bit easier. And believe it or not, I took the rhinestones and I put them aside, and would you believe I lost them? There's one. It's just typical of me, isn't it? Okay. So I'm going to pull them back out. <clears throat> And now we're going to see if we can pick up a rhinestone easily and just drop it right on top. And then we'll put it in for another 30 seconds and then we'll take it all out again. Sorry, I know I have tweezers, but I've got to find some. Okay, so I do have some rhinestone pick em uppers, but I don't know where they went. So, I'm just using a pair of tweezers that I use for my glass. And 
hopefully, hopefully I can get them in there. And if it's really difficult for my fingers to do, then I will nix this idea. Okay, so I'm just putting that in there for now. This may not work in this one. I might have to fill it to... Ah, oh, I dropped it. Fill it to get it to sit right. I'm going to take a couple of them out because I have a feeling I'll drop a few of them before I get them into the piece here. I wonder if this would work better. No, I don't have a good enough grip using those. Okay, that's a different color, isn't it? I think the one I want is this one. These came from Susan Bailey, and she gave me so many different sizes. And they're so close to each other that I don't know... If one's bigger until it literally goes into the piece. Well, that wasn't good. Okay, so now we got that one in there. Okay. Okay, so now... I'm going to put a little bit of resin on the end here. I'm going to let that kind of slide in. There we go. So what we needed was just for it to help it lay a little bit. Okay, guys, so I'm going to just wipe off the top, throw this back under the UV lamp, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back, and we got the rhinestones in. I just put it with the flashlight instead because I needed to hold on to it. So I took a UV flashlight and put it on there. So now that we've got a little bit of this in there, we're going to go ahead and add some of this flake. You know, and I have a little spoon... Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. They do have like one of those little spoons that you get for, I don't know what they're used for, but I guess they're crafting spoons. And you can use that. Oh, and I just found it. Look at that. I just peeked and there it was. So I don't know what it was used for, but I'm sure it had something to do with resin. Okay, and we're just going to spread a little bit of this in there. So I'm going to spread that around a little bit. Okay. And then probably add some gold flake too. And I guess it depends on how this lays, on how sparkly it is. So I'm going to get some of that gold leaf. And I got a little bit of resin on this Q-tip. So I'm hoping it'll let me pick it up and just drop them in different areas. All right, it worked. But I've got all this gold flake that's sticking to my fingers here. I don't want to clump it. Just want to put a little bit here, a little bit there. All 
right, so we're going to try that. And then again, we're going to add a little bit more resin here. Kind of fill up this little hole. And if it overflows, that's okay. Just lay it across your whole piece. Okay, so this one I'm going to wait. I'm going to do this one on camera. That one I'll do a little later, I think. That needs to be buried because that keeps showing up. So the gold leaf does not like to sit on the bottom, apparently. Okay, so let's put that under the UV lamp. And we'll come back when I take it out. But that's what it looks like so far. Okay, I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, we're ready to pull it out and see what we got here. So, so far, they're pretty sparkly. Okay, so now before we go any deeper into this, I am going to take a towel, put a little bit of alcohol on it. Okay, and I'm just going to clean the surface. Okay. Alrighty. And now we're going to do this one more time. But we're going to cover <clears throat> the whole... The whole shebang. And we might as well do this one too. I was going to put the diamond in that one too. But I think I'm just going to put some. Little scraps of gold foil in here or something. Ugh. It likes to stick to you. don't want a whole lot. No, just a little bit. Okay. Alright. So, we started with this. I'm going to end it with this. I just don't like this because it seems to pull away from the edges. But I don't know if you can mix resin. I've never done that before. So, I don't want to ruin the pieces. Now we're just going to do the outside first. My dog has joined me. We have so much leftover food from Super Bowl. And yeah, so I don't know if I told you that my sister-in-law likes to do pools. Um, I'm always in a football pool with her. But we had playoff pools and this pool and that pool. And... um and then she calls me and says, well, do you want to do a pool? <laughs> I'm like, another one? She's already in like seven of them. I'm in her two. And um, so I said, all right. I go, well, that's a hundred squares that we got to sell. So I got my kids to get in on it. And of course, I didn't end up winning on those, but I won $200 on her pools. And it was weird. Because this pool had, like, it's basically the last number of the score. So if it's like 10, 10, 13, then if you have the numbers 0 and 3, which I did, you would win for that quarter. So I had 0 and 3, and miraculously I had 3 and 0 as well. So the way this person did their pool is you win on 0, 3, but you also win in reverse and I just happened to have that reverse square so I went 200 on that one 
and then the pool that I do every year um, that has the playoffs you pick points and stuff like that and you give them to each team at the very end on the playoffs I was so behind that I haven't been keeping a track of it but I was dumb and I didn't use my big numbers in the beginning because it was hard to pick who it was and I was afraid of losing points so I ended up going small and I saved a lot of my big numbers which is like 10 to 13 till the very end well son of a gun I went to check and see how far I was from winning to find out that I won so I won 300 on that one so I'm like okay well just won $500 and I'm like okay what do I want that I would not buy for myself and I have not decided if I'm going to do that I will probably put them towards bills because I'm still paying off Christmas so I'll put it away I'm gonna be a good girl not the easiest thing to do but I am going to put them away and if something comes up that I really really would like to have then I'll think about it All right, so I know we already need more resin here as you can see we're not full on that so I'm gonna add a little more here but I want to I want to get the around that rhinestone on the top first <clears throat> make sure you have good light I don't and sometimes you can't see where you're missing a little bit of resin. So there we go. We got that covered. It's already pulling away from the sides. So this is a test, right? interesting to see it when it's completely done and then I can tell you if I like it or not okay and this it's kind of cool having that little hole right there because whatever is left over is filling up into there Just want to make sure it's filling all the way up and it looks like it could use just a tad more right there and right there you could literally see the hole right there above that crystal okay so I'm gonna do these separate so let me grab a lighter and get all of our little air bubbles out and I had a lighter here there we go and I'm going to be out of camera for a minute because if I put this up to my head and spin it around I can see where where the resin is low Alrighty, I think we got it. So let's turn it around. And if I see areas that seem like it's pushing, ah, a dog here, of course. Oh well, my business page is me in the mutts. So, he got a little bit of the mutts in every piece, right? Okay, so this needs a little more right there. Okay, so give that a minute. Throw it under here. 
I'll give that about eight minutes. So while I got this here, you know, I don't think I put resin on this one. So I'm going to hit pause real quick. All right. So I'm using from the heart supplies. She is not open yet. And I kind of asked her if I could sell her resin for her. You know, I wouldn't even take a profit. I would have given her all the money. I just wanted it to, to keep it going because it's such a good resin. But she never responded. Which is okay. It's her prerogative and all that. But it's a really nice product. I hope it comes back. Okay, so here we go with this. And do the same thing that we did to the other one. This might be a little bit of a challenge. I might need to add just a little bit. Okay, so I'll go back and check that one out. I'm liking these a lot. Okay, so whatever's extra, just gonna put over that hole right there. All right, so now, again, I might be out of camera. I'm going to get rid of all the holes. And yeah, there's quite a few areas that I still need to fill. Okay, this one looks pretty decent. Got some air bubbles where the gold flakes are. But here, I got this whole area. All right, so we're gonna get those holes out. Get those holes out. This resin, unfortunately, takes 30 minutes under a UV lamp. So this is going to be a little bit of a wait. Okay. So that one's covered top and bottom. That's probably the gold foil in there. Sometimes it just looks like a little, it looked like a little air bubble, but it's not. And if it is, it's very stubborn. It does not want to come out. There's a 
the piece of gold right there that kind of went to the surface. I'm just going to leave that alone. Now, I know these are air bubbles, but okay, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so we're going to do one final look. Looks like I could use a little bit more right here. Which, yes, means more air bubbles. A little more right there in the center. The other one looks okay. Okay. I think we got it. Just a little piece right here that looks lighter. So we're just going to push that all the way to the edge. All right, so now we're going to put that in. Let's see if the other ones are... The other ones are still going, so I'm just going to leave those in there with these. It won't hurt that they're in for longer than eight minutes. Okay, and we'll see you in about a half hour. Talk to you then. Hey guys, so we are done, and I'm going to try and put a little bit of light under here. So I'm hoping that just helped a little bit. But let's show you what they look like now that they came out of the... UV light. I'm going to run some alcohol on this because there's a little bit of old resin on it. Oh well, we'll just put it on this. So, these all have the textured back, so I didn't worry about touching them. So these are those earrings, and this is just with the gold, the gold flake in it, whatever you want to call it, gold foil. So they turned out really pretty. They're really shiny and sparkly. And these were our experimental pieces, weren't they? So you've got your little crystals in there. And you're all full of gold paste or gold foil and all that stuff on that too. So that's it for our little experiment. Very interesting, I have to admit. I'm um, going to have to keep playing with some more colors and stuff like that and see what else we can come up with. So I hope you guys really liked that one. And I guess that's it for tonight. Good luck again with the, um, the oh my gosh, Irene. Um, the, the giveaway is going on right now. It's going to be going on until next Tuesday. So make sure you enter if you're a subscriber. And either way, I hope you hit like, share, whatever you want to do. And you guys have a wonderful night. Stay warm wherever you're at. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.